What's up, guys? So before we get the review going, man, I just want to give a big shout out to my boy Fudgy the Wolf for helping me get the review done just a little bit faster. So here we go. Campus here, Monte Ball, 94 overall, ground and pound style, 5 foot 10, 93 speed, 90 agility, 96 ball carry, 88 juke, 98 truck, 98 carry, 96 excel, and 83 elusiveness. Also has a 96 stiff arm and only a 68 catch. Now, when I picked him up, I was hoping, you know, that he would be a great power back. You know, this guy has been requested for so long, so I finally got to him, man. So, anyways, man, enough talking. Let me show you what he can do. So, Monte Ball, man, this guy has been requested for so, so long. I finally got to it. And, you know what, man? Definitely broke a fair amount of tackles, man. And when I ran with him... The one, uh, the one player that he reminded me of was Marshawn Lynch, the one that I just did a review for. Now, do not get me wrong. I'm not saying that he's just as good as the 99 Marshawn Lynch. I'm just saying that that's who he reminded me of in terms of the best way to use him. As you can see here, breaks tackles, very shifty. Not the most dependable in terms of catching because, like I said, that 68 catch, you know, he definitely would drop passes from time to time. But as you can see here, man, he can definitely um, truck, stiff arm. This right here. You know, like I say, he's definitely shifty if you're good with the sticks. You know, like, you can definitely make people miss um, with Monte Ball besides just stiff arming and uh, trucking. Now, of course, I do recommend that if you do get him, that I definitely recommend you do uh, more truck and stiff arms because it's definitely tough to spin and juke with him. That I can definitely promise you. But it's not impossible, as you can see here. Now, these right here were just some of the few times he did catch. Believe me, I think there was maybe like twice where he did drop like an open pass, but you know, that's to be expected. So just keep that in mind if you have him out um, running routes like this. So definitely not someone you should depend on like on a fourth down. He just may end up letting you down. Now, he definitely did, did take his fair amount of uh, hit sticks. He got hit, I think, like nine times and he fumbled three times. That was a bit concerning considering that he has such a good carry rating. I did not think he was going to fumble that often out of like nine hit sticks but you know what it is what it is man so if you don't want to fumble you know that there's um here are the fumbles right here so you can see your uh, yourself now like i said if you don't want to fumble you know you can always just you know press um r1 to uh, hold the ball and right there man i got a nice little stiff arm and it had to end with a damn <laughs> um uh fumble this right here is another um small complaint his speed, man, 93 speed is just not going to cut it nowadays. You know, there are so many um, linebackers and safeties and corners who would just chase you down. I mean, look at these two plays right here. These two plays, you know, explain it so well. You know, if he would have had, you know, maybe like 95 or even 96 speed, you know, he most likely probably would have just been gone. But because of that speed, man, he got chased down. And it's bound to happen if you uh, run with Monte Ball. So don't expect too many, like, 50 or 60 yard runs with Monte Ball. It's just you know for the most part not going to happen this right here of course was definitely going to was um i expected going down the first hit now the reason i compare him to marshall lynch is because the best way to use ball is running right up the middle man that's the best way to use him. he's not fast enough to bounce to the outside man but because he's such you know he's such a power back and, and whatnot he will for the most part will fall forward as you can see here he will fall forward five for extra yards i mean look at this player right here he's just not he's gonna keep you know um fighting for those few extra yards as you can see i mean, I mean look at that look at that that play was dead like two yard loss he fought for yards and gave me like five or six or seven more of them so if you pick up monte ball man don't try to turn him into an outside runner man run him up the middle and just take your tough five to six yard gains Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of this review. My final thoughts. Do I think he's worth 30000 That sounds like a solid price, you know, especially this late in the game. Is he a top five budget back? If you like to run up the middle, you know, I would definitely think so. But if you're the kind of guy who always wants to bounce to the outside, I just don't think he's top five. Top ten, maybe, but not top five. I mean, there's so many other receiver or running backs that are just as, that are so much faster that are better to bounce to the outside for, um... For 30k or less but anyways man that's gonna be the end of this review my next review should be that um all rookie landon collins hopefully that will, that video will come out tonight but if not then it'll be tomorrow and after that's all said and done my next review after these two is going to be the um ultimate legend of calvin johnson now his review might not be out till maybe you know wednesday or tuesday at the, at the earliest but anyways man don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, guys, and be sure to subscribe so you'll be up to date with this content when it drops, man. I'll see y'all boys later, man. Peace.